All right, today we're going to be looking at some more fake disorder cringe over on r slash fake disorder cringe, which the name's pretty self-explanatory. The Reddit just holds a bunch of losers who fake disorders for clout, and you know what? Why not clown on them today? Because they chose to fake a disorder on TikTok. But yeah, anyways, let's jump right into the video. But you know what? You say OCD is a disease, I say it's a blessing. Once a month, but you know what? You say OCD is a disease, I say it's a blessing. Oh my god, you're so right, queen, yes. It, it's such a blessing. Shut the fuck up. I could go to anybody with OCD right now, and they would say it is not a blessing. So this guy stitched it, and yeah, I love the response. Aw, oh, same here, queen. I literally have to wash my hands every time I touch anything, including my own body and clothes, or else I'll feel so filthy I want to claw my eyes out. Twinning! Get own bozo plus fraud plus get ratioed. And just because you organize fucking coffee cups or whatever the hell those things are called. Just because you just sorted them for a TikTok. Like, I'm sure that was only for the TikTok. If you say it's a blessing, then there's no way you have it. So I managed to catch a switch on camera. If you want to make it look like you caught it on camera, then don't wave at the camera like you're an NPC. Just looks like you're rebooting. What, what the fuck is this? All you did was wave. My Pokemon NPC could probably do a better job faking than you. And they say the same shit over and over. But yeah, guys, it just magically happened for TikTok, okay? Don't, no, don't even question it. Don't question it. Would you guys tell us if we got on r slash fake disorder cringe? We'd like to at least see the post and know it's there. Well, you made it in. Congratulations. Can we get a round of applause? Great job. Do you want a cookie? Like, if they actually weren't faking it, then why would they be worried if they got into a Reddit or, like, fake disorder cringe or whatever the hell it is if someone was being honest they wouldn't be like uh guys could, could you tell me if i get it on reddit could you could you tell me like you wouldn't care how people handled your videos or where they were put on reddit i personally find it funny that singlets care so much not sure if i can say the same for the other headmates though i think you can say the same for all of them i think you care pretty deeply if you made a whole ass TikTok about it like we all know you care if a neckbeard with like twenty thousand karma posted your video on reddit and you could could easily dispute it if it does happen someone mistakes it and you thinks you're faking it if you're scared of being put on blast on reddit you you got a long way to go all right let's get one thing fucking straight well that's how i already know this video about to be booty cheeks if they start with let's get one thing fucking straight i'm well aware that faking ticks is not okay but neither is claiming that people are faking I don't think you understand that these are something that affect my life. If I could stop, I would. But wow, that's crazy how you're able to do uninterrupted sentences. And then you just tick right after. Well, that's crazy. I mean, you just stopped when you were speaking. And then again, right after, oh, let's tick. I can't. Fake claiming is just as bad as faking ticks, okay? But yeah, guys, I guess I'm as bad as a Tourette's faker. Just because I, I'm reacting to some cringe post I found in a Reddit, and uh, it looks very obvious that you're faking it right now. But no, I'm, a, I'm just a terrible person, guys. And I don't know, I think you should get the Twitter threads rolling up and say, TW Nguyen, a thread. He needs to be canceled immediately, the whole fucking nine yards. Stop supporting Nguyen. He thinks that obvious Tourette's fakers are faking disorders. And I'll be eradicated off this earth. Just like that, because of one Twitter thread. Please stop harassing me. I did nothing wrong. What am I gonna do? Put a pole up my ass? Am I not allowed to make jokes? I mean, on TikTok, I got low-key gotta fucking shove that thing up there. Okay, Paul. Okay, we're back, but, uh, this isn't harassment, okay? This video is not harassment for all the, uh, Charmin Ultrasoft people out there. To... <sighs> making assumptions and false accusations when you don't know me you don't know how my brain works you don't know what i'm going through i mean you kind of are ticking at every end of the sentence and not in the middle of the sentence interrupted which makes it looks like you are able to control them i might not be able to get my dream job because of these because i want to be on stage and i can't be on stage if i'm constantly ticking 
If you want to be an actor, then stop making these goofy-ass TikToks and go chase your dream. Like, it's not that hard. The time you're spending right now pretending to have Tourette's on TikTok, you? Guess what you could be doing? You could be going to auditions, I don't know, practicing lines. I don't know. I don't know what actors do. Watching movies to see how other actors behave in certain types of scenes and whatnot. Not this. This is a fucking waste of time. I'm Schlatt. I'm 21 through 24. My pronouns are he slash she slash Rot? I'm gay plus bi gender. I'm an anger holder and trauma holder. My sign off is a beer mug. I'm taken. I swear, like 50% of these alters, quote unquote, are Dream SMP or Dream SMP related. I guess there's a lot of people in that, like, sort of space fan base that just have no parental attention at home, so they have to fake disorders on TikTok. Like, I'm sure they got no milk in the cribbo. Like, that's a, that's a given. You say your sign-off is a beer mug, yet you can't even drink beer. What sense does that make? You're not dipping out of a conversation to go crack a cold one with the boys, bro. Nah, you just going to sit in your damn room. I'm on house arrest for beating my sister up and being in the psych ward for a month. I'm on house arrest for beating my sister up and being in the psych ward for a month. Bro, is that a Fitbit? I've never owned a Fitbit, but this looks oddly familiar, oddly similar to a Fitbit. Like, it's got that little adjustment thingy underneath, bro. You are not on house arrest. Shut the fuck up. Speaking of Fitbits, one of my old principals actually banned Fitbits, or not banned them, but, you know, had people put them away when they were wearing them. And the bro was on the intercom, he was like, if you are wearing a Fitbit, please put it in your backpack and keep it out of sight. Like, bro, what are people gonna do with the Fitbit? I don't know, I guess they're gonna pretend like they're on house arrest. I'm not possessed. I have Tourette's. Bro, she made merch now. What the fuck? Like, there's gotta be some sort of disrespect in there, bro. What the heck? Like, that's gotta be disrespectful. Like, you don't even have Tourette's yourself, and you're dancing around with this merch that you made saying, like, I'm not possessed. I have Tourette's. Like, it's an actual disorder that affects people's lives. It's not a quirky trend. I'm sure you already know who this is. I mean, I'll just put a video on screen, and, um, it'll just explain everything. I don't think I need to say much more. Friendly reminder that if you use the word demonize to make something seem bad, you are insinuating that demons are always bad. They aren't. As a demon-heavy system, please don't use that word. Use vilify instead. Alright, so I looked up demonize in a sentence on Google. I'm gonna read it here. It says, In divorce court, the bitter wife tried to demonize her ex and paint him in a bad light to the judge. Thank you for listening to my TED Talk. Whoever this is, they are definitely gonna be heated. Dude, I better hide, man. They're about to unleash their inner demons after they heard me use the word demonize in a negative way. If we were here all night, I mean, it's like 1030 at night. I really don't want to sit here and read like 10 more sentences, but I would though, if I had time. I would do a whole ass TED Talk about the word demonize. I don't know what word they wanted to use, but um... I, I couldn't tell you what it means. I wonder how those Minecraft guys feel knowing that teenagers on the clock app fake having a rare personality disorder and pretend their personalities are them. I swear, half these fucking altars are like Dream SMP. They're just coming out of nowhere after this magically became a trend, quote unquote. About time someone says something about that. God damn. Meet the altars, Jillian, Jarek. 30 minute introduction videos about your altars. Okay, I don't think you need 30 minutes of a video to introduce your altars. I don't know who this YouTuber is. I have no idea if they actually do have did or whatnot, but if they're in this subreddit, it, it's most likely fake. They made that shit 27 minutes and then 35 minutes. And that is been made that length for a reason. Like they want the guap, they want the cheddar. And uh, I don't know if anyone's gonna wanna watch you introduce all these fake altars. Like, talk about one hefty-ass introduction. That shit's like 30 minutes. Like, bro, you could say biography if you wanted to. Like, she's out here giving us, like, the whole life story. You know, nothing wrong with the length. Like, you know, I love me some spicy RPMs, but holy shit. Like, you're really gonna fake did for 30 minutes? I would go fucking insane if I had to do that. I got bitches off the Zans.
I don't think I want to see the rest of the whole acronym. No way, I'm good. But yeah, I've had enough, and comment water if you made it this far. Also, watch the playlist on the end screen. Do it, you'll love it, I promise.